everyone, it's Nicole Spore here today for Simon Says Stamp, sharing a couple of easy to create cards with the May 2018 card kit called Kind Heart. This amazing card kit is filled with so many amazing products and you can cr really create so many cards with it. I'm gonna share how some of the pattern papers inspired my cards today. The first was definitely this particular pink fresh let your heart decide pattern paper from the kit that I'm trimming down to be A2 sized. It's going to completely fit the front of my card, but I wanted to leave that white space down at the bottom. In the May kit, there is a heart wafer die, um, the word heart, not an actual heart. And I am going to use that in conjunction with the Take Heart stamp set, a sentiment from that to build my greeting. I'm kind of playing around deciding where I want my sentiment to go, but I also was very much drawn to the epoxy hearts from the Pink Fresh Let Your Heart, heart Decide that are included in this kit especially the corals, blacks, white, and gold. I thought they looked really pretty. I loved those, and that was what inspired me first and foremost. So I'm just gonna create this row of hearts, almost like they're coming down from the stripes in the paper was what I initially was inspired by. But again, I want to leave some of that faded area where those stripes fade into white and leave that white area at the bottom because I really think that's the best spot for the greeting for this card. I wanna go ahead and fill in with my epoxy hearts. Now I made, I wanna call it a critical error, but I was able to get by with it and I'll tell you how. I should have die cut the word heart, the outline for the word heart first before putting these epoxy hearts on my background because they are not going they they have enough dimension to them and they overlap in some areas which gives them even more dimension so they're not going to run through a die cutting machine well the way you can get around this is i only partially ran it through it would not go all the way through i only ran it through the rollers as far as the greeting and then rolled it back out that same way and I was able to die cut that from that area. You could definitely leave that out if you wanted to. Um, especially, I ended up not popping up this panel. And if I had, I think it might have made a little bit more of an impact with the inlay. Um, but I want to inlay this inside of there. And that's why I die cut that. So I have die cut the word itself from some fun foam that's backed with sticket adhesive on both sides and then finished one of the sides the adhesive backing papers removed and I replaced it with some of the Simon Says Stamp black glitter cardstock. I love these glitter cardstocks. If you are someone who likes glitter but does not like the mess, you are going to love these cardstocks because they do not flake glitter everywhere and you still get that amazing glitter look. I'm popping out all the little inside pieces from the letters so that I can adhere this inside. And I'm going to just back this panel with a piece of vellum and then pop the word heart um, on top of that. If I popped up the whole panel, that vellum would be a little bit more um, interesting, I guess I wanna say. But like I said, I ended up not popping it up because I wanted the cards to fit into my envelopes just a little bit better. This is super quick and easy, and you're gonna see this when I create the other card. You could create a bunch of cards just like this from the kit. Um, I probably, there's probably enough epoxy hearts if you go overboard like I did to create three cards. Um, and then you would have to change embellishments or create your own or do something like that. But the epoxy sticker heart uh, paper or the uh, embellishments, pardon me, in the kit, there's a lot of them because look at all the hearts I used on this card. Eight of them on this one alone. Um, the second one has seven. 
On a scrap piece of black cardstock now, I am going to stamp the rest of my greeting. Again, I took this greeting from the Take Heart Clear stamp set included in the kit. This month's kit has two stamp sets. I love that Simon has started including more stamps into the card kits. I think that's amazing. There's Take Heart and then the larger stamp set is everything together. T from the Take Heart I'm using, you have a beautiful and then the rest of the greeting will be the die cut heart. I am going to heat emboss my stamped greeting with white embossing powder, trim this into a thin strip, and then pop it up with some foam adhesive so that it kind of straddles the letter T in the word heart and just works a lot nicer with this. I played around with maybe stamping directly on the card base itself and the greeting was a little too long and I, so I kind of got around that by popping up this greeting. I'm using some scrapbook adhesives, black foam adhesive squares that I've trimmed down. And if you see, I'm gonna leave a little area in between my foam adhesive squares. So Wendon is gonna have a little bit more, but then there's a little notch in between those. That little area is gonna straddle the letter T and it's going to work together perfectly. And that card came together so super fast. I love this color combination. It's one of my very favorites and it was a quick, easy, and really fun card to create. So we're gonna just pop this onto a white top fold card base and my first card is all finished. For my second card, I am going to use a couple of different pattern papers from the kit, a floral background, and then there's another pattern that has diagonal stripes that I've trimmed the yellow stripe from that. And I, it's just a great contrast and it's gonna be a great divider between the floral and the white background. From some of the white cardstock, um, I'm going to die cut the word heart or the outline for the word heart again very much like before. I've got a scrap of vellum that I'm gonna back this with as well. And I'm just gonna switch up the color. The design of the background is a little bit different since I'm piecing together a background. There's not multiple pieces or colors of the other pattern paper in the kit. I wanted to show how you can create a similar card with some of the other patterns. I love this floral pattern. I loved the yellow stripe and I thought that they would work nicely with some of the yellow and green and aqua epoxy hearts also included in that um, epoxy heart sticker set. From that diagonal stripe, the rest of that pattern paper still has lots of other colors or strips in it, so can be used to create lots of other cards. I just put that in my with my scraps from this kit. We're gonna trim off all the excess. Again, this background was left A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Let's grab some of the fun epoxy hearts now and just position them along this diagonal border. I like overlapping some of them. I think that's kind of fun. I used a combination of the aquas, the greens, some yellow, and even one of the leftover white with some little um, black marks on it, heart that I didn't use on the last card, just didn't have room for it. And I thought it really worked well here. Picks up some of the white from the floral background paper. And I didn't really like that particular heart. I don't know why, it just, I thought there was too much green. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this last white and yellow heart instead. And there's that little white and black one. Again, just like before, but using a different color of glitter cardstock. This is actually a scrap piece that I have from other projects. It's already got fun foam with stick it adhesive on it. And then this emerald green Simon Says Stamp glitter cardstock. We're gonna die cut the word heart from this, position it right over that vellum, place that inside of the shadow outline, and then we're gonna finish the greeting with one of the other phrases from the Take Heart Clear stamp set. This one reads, you are full of. So great ways to kind of mix and match stamps and die cuts. 
I also want to mention other than these two very small stamped sentiments on these cards, these cards were created entirely from stickers, pattern paper, and die cuts. So um, if you don't always feel like stamping or you want to save maybe a little bit of time, this is a very quick and easy way to create a whole bunch of cards very quickly. Instead of black cardstock for the uh, greeting strip this time, I'm gonna use white. I did not think black was gonna look very good on this particular background. And I pop this up with some foam adhesive squares and that will finish up my two fun foam inlay greeting cards featuring pattern paper, stickers, greetings, and dies from the Simon Says Stamp May 2018 card kit. Thanks for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.